Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So this will be a short video and we will be talking about how to add an image into a text. So we're going to be adding an image to be the um, background of a text using CSS. So let's just go ahead and do this. So first off, um, I have written some certain code here and over here is our HTML file. And we have, we don't really have much here. We just have some set of H1 tags. And here we go, adding an image to a text and different H1 tags. And in the CSS, we just have um, an importation of a font from Google Fonts. And we have the fonts family. We reset the pattern and the margin, make the background to be black. The text should be centered. Fonts should be 10 EM and the color should be white and just something very basic. So. That is what we have for now, and I'll be showing you how that turns out. So this is actually what we have here as at this time, but for this text um, written over here, we are going to be adding an image to be the background of this particular text. So if you're wondering what font is this, uh, I actually got this from Google Fonts, and here is it, and for the image that we are going to be adding to this particular text, I am going to get it from Unsplash. So, I would right click over here and just copy the image location. So let's go back to our IDE. Okay, over here, I would be using an element selector just to select all the H1 elements. So I'm going to say H1 and I would do this. So in this case now, I have to give this a background image. So we'll say background image and I would use a URL. A URL for this, just use a single quote, and I'll paste in the image I copied from Unsplash. Let's see this in action first. Okay, so let's refresh this, and I'm very sure this is not what you were expecting, but in this case, I'm just going to say background, background position should be centered, and I just want this image to come to the center here. Great. Now, the part that does the magic is for me to say background clip. Now, if I should say background clip, um going to give this a value of text, but take notes, the background clip actually have um, different value. We have the border box, the context box, like you can see here, whereby the border, the border box actually um, makes the background image to go to the extreme, to the extreme, which is actually the border itself. The padding takes it to the padding level, the content takes it just within the contents alone. So that just it. but if I should write text here, you would see that my IDE is going to flag this to be an invalid um, value to this particular property. This is the valid property if you, you're making use of a Firefox browser, but for Chrome and most Chromium-based browser, if not for the all Chromium-based browser, this wouldn't really work. You need to add a prefix of WebKit to this. So I am going to say dash WebKit, WebKit this, and I'm just going to remove this from any part of it. So if you need this to work on a Chromium browser, you have to use the WebKit, the WebKit prefix for it. So you can see that this is no longer throwing an error here. And now when we save this and we refresh, it's not going to be what you expect in the game. So like right now it appears like we're back to where we started from, but this is not really the case because what's going on here is it's actually working, but remember that we have a font color over here and we said our font color is white. So if we should instruct the H1 element to have a transparent color, that simply means we're going to be able to see the image, the background image itself. And that's what we're just going to do now. So in this case, we'll say that the color of the H1 element should be, okay, I mistyped. So the color of this should be, um, let's just say transparent for now. And we'll save this and just refresh this to see how it's going to work. And here we have our background image clipped within the text. So we just have this and here we go, here we go. And this is actually looking so great. Now, what we're going to do next is that, okay, I just want to bring to your notice first that this particular transparency can actually work with any color. So if we should say red for instance, and we refresh, this is just going to be red. But how about if we should add some level of, tra of transparency to this particular red color over here. So let me save this now and you can see, so we have a kind of a transparent red overlay over the background image itself, and this can work with just any color that we want. So you might make the image, just say the image, you want the image to have a kind of an overlay that suits um, your brand color. You might just want to do that because it's possible for that to be done. So that's just how to go about it anyways, but for now, 
I would like to leave this to be transparent because I like it this way. So these are transparent and just because of this uh, uh, background image, we can actually play with it any way we want to play with it. And for this particular situation, I actually want to say I want the background attachment. So I'm going to say background attachment. I want it to be fixed. So I'm going to save this and I'll refresh this now. Now, can you see what is going on here? We actually have the text moving, but the background image is static. And this just looks so good. Like the sun, uh, the rays of the sun over here, everything just looks so good right now. The water, the rays of the sun, just looking so great. So I don't really know what you want to design, but if you want to design a thing like this, this is just how to do it. And this can really come in handy. So that is just it about how to add an image into a text or how to make an image to be the background image of a text. So that's just how to do it. And that's all for this video. So if you like this video and you consider it useful, please remember to subscribe to this channel to get more tips like this. Bye for now.